Zero League Mai Sin Yeah, never say die, got to go, go All right, everybody, it's time for Grand Finals. It's going to be Rio taking the place of Dark Magician Girl because our Dark Magician Girl duelist just could not make it versus Fell and Bastion's deck. I know you all must have had some fun watching me do the Dark Magician Girl the way it should be done, but hopefully Rio plays just as well. But Bastion's deck is super effective and we can see Carbonet on go. All right, Hyanzaru is here. Let us see. Let's see how Dark Magician Girl starts. This is a very powerful start from Bastion, but there are lots of ways out of this. All right. Magician's Valkyria will kill Mathematician, but that's exactly what Fell wants because they get to draw a card. Unless you have a bunch of back row, you're in a very bad situation. Let's see if you can somehow summon two Magician's Valkyrias, two of those on the field, and you can lock down your opponents until a Ring of Destruction happens. But you do own three. Therefore, you could technically win the duel by deck out knowing that Mathematician and the other card have ruined the game. It's actually something I had considered doing, but let's see if Oxy get on. Okay, no far, no back row, no back row. 2100 damage to Dark Magician Girl. That is pretty brutal. That is absolutely brutal. Both these characters fought hard to make it to this final round. They were uh, both have very, very good decks in their own ways. Dark Magician Girl's power level is not very high, but her special stuff, her speed, her burn is doable. And Bastion is good at just about everything, but mostly defense. He is a very good defensive deck, just like Weevil Underwood. And he might be another defensive champion, just like Weevil Underwood, which would be very interesting. Honestly, but Korra was also a defensive deck. Have all the defensive decks won tournaments? Hold up. Weevil Underwood, super defensive, won the tournament. Bakora, super defensive, won the tournament. Bastion, super defensive, will it win the tournament? That is curious to me. Speed versus defense. I guess speed can't beat the D. Hmm. Hmm, that's interesting. Let's say speed beats attack, attack beats defense, and defense beats speed. Interesting little triangle we got there. Mm-hmm. Kabuzala should be strong enough. Most of Dark Magician Girl's cards are very weak, except for Magician Valkyria. The attack is going through, but Fel needs to activate the card or not. All right. Looks like the attack is Fire Sorcerer. You're about to lose two cards randomly, so this could be very bad for you. It looks like we're getting a little bit of lag because this flip has happened, but nothing's happened yet. All right, nothing has happened yet. Let's see what's going on. Is there lag? All right. All right, let's see what we can do. All right, there, it finally went through. They lost Monster Reborn! Oh my god, you set those! Remember when I played as the Dark Magician Girl? You set your best spells and traps if you're willing to put down Forest Fire Sorceress. That was extremely risky. That was extremely risky, man. That, oh my gosh. Ooh, we set those when we played, oh my god. Oh my god, you lost Monster Reborn. That's huge. That is huge. You Dark Hole, you Monster Reborn, Heon Zara, you have options. I see the lag, though. There is some ma massive lag going on. Let's see. Let's see if I can fix this up. I don't know what's going on here. This looks like a very, very, very uh, bad duel. 
Uh, okay, finally the 800 damage was dealt, but I don't like this. If the lag keeps persisting, I will not need to, um... I might need to end the duel, but obviously if they can get through with this, then I think we're good. Okay, maybe there was a little lag spike. It happens. Let's just pretend like the duel's fine. 2100 damage. It looks like Dark Magician Girl is going to lose. Alright, let's see. Okay, no, this is this is lagging, but it's it's not the worst. All right, this is doable. Let's see. Final match. Can Dark Magician Girl top deck Dark Hole and then pray and then cry that they didn't set that monster reborn? Or will Dark Magician Girl be forced into Honestly, your best bet right now is Apprentice Magician. Without Apprentice Magician, you are going to die. It happens. Trust me, it happens. But you need to play it. All right, what are you going to do? What are you going to do, Rio? I know this is a bad situation. You got 17, 18, 21, a trap card, unless it's Matt. No, that doesn't look good to me. That doesn't look good to me. I know most of your trap cards. They're not very effective as aggressive traps. One's Dark Renewal, which you need a face-up monster for, and um, a face-up spellcaster, that is. And the other one is not going to help either in this case, because it's probably Magician's Circle. Yeah, this looks like GG. Oh, Fire Sorceress can't get her effect off this time. And game number one goes to Bastion Masawa. Dark Magician Girl got wrecked. All right, let's see if Rio can make a comeback here. Losing Monster Reborn didn't technically lose them the duel. It wasn't at best; it may have stalled maybe one turn, but that duel was completely in Bastion's favor. But we'll see how this goes. And let's see, we have a set card and a set card. So basic set set pass. Nothing wrong with that. Kabuzalus is pretty scary. The question is, Oxy get on. Oh, God. That's pretty scary, too. And 1800 Beater beats almost everything in Dark Magician Girl's deck but Magician's Valkyria. If they could top deck Magician's Valkyria, they... Yeah, there you go. Okay. If they could summon our Dark Magician's... I mean, Dark Magician's Valkyria, then they can get a lock going. And if they can get a third one out, then there's no way to stop the lock. You just have to play defensively. Therefore, they can win this. But will they get the lock going? Do they have the cards? Obviously, it's super hard to have two in your hand. So, I mean, let's just see what happens. And there's no way to search out Magician's Valkyria. You just got to get lucky. Except, well, no, no, Magician's Circle. Never mind. 100% you could do what I just said. Ignore me. I'm an idiot. All right. So what you do is you tribute summon Dark Magician Girl. You use Magician Circle to summon Dark Magician Girl. And you destroy both monsters on the field. You're going to do that instead. You're brave. Granted, I understand it's safe. Until your opponent tributes Summon Sion Zaru or Litmus Doom Swordsman. But I understand that it's safe. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, you're willing to sacrifice for Dark Magician Girl. Okay, that's fine too. Or Magician Valkyria if you want to go for the lock deck out strategy. Okay. Both are viable. Both are definitely viable. If you want to go aggressive, you can. If you want to go defensive, you can. Both are good. This works. But you got to make a decision. Which one matters more to you? All right, Dark Magician Girl it is. All right. Magician's Pikiru is still there. Dark Magician Girl is now going to attack. They did get Mathematician out of the deal, so that is a good card for them because that can get them um, a card to draw. Mathematician will let them draw a card, so that Magician Circle actually works. Alright, Kabuzalus can't do a damn thing, even though it's going to try to. Magician's Valkyria will protect them. And now Dark Magician Girl is in complete control of the duel, and they get to heal a bunch of life points. That is very good. This is a very, very good turn. Let's see how it goes. 
And they didn't draw a monster somehow, so that is very pitiful. The inability to draw a monster will mean no direct damage. No direct damage means... Well, you're not even going to destroy Mathematician. Okay, just to do 300 burn, I guess you do you. It's doable, but giving your opponent a chance to... I guess they don't get to draw a card. That's fair. That's fair. But now they get Huon Sorrow either way. So it looks like no matter what you did, they were still going to get their option. But now they have two monsters, so that's a little bit scary. But it's still fine, as long as they don't have the Litmus Doom Swordsman Ritual. And they're willing to crash just to draw two cards. Oh, no, they're just going to get rid of your girls. You see, now your girls are dead. Both of them. Oh, no, they're not willing to. I'm very confused. Okay, what is this duel? Oh, I forgot. Magician's Valkyrie. I'm an idiot. I apologize. I said this earlier, and yet I'm still an idiot. And they take 900 burn, which is very nice. Um... If I were you, um, you're going to need that spell card to pop that Hyanzaru, and you're going to need Magic Formula to just buff yourself to a decent point. That at least means that Hyanzaru can't stop you, but it could stop your defenses, which means next turn you're going to lose both your girls. Most likely. Yeah, you're going to lose both your girls next turn. Because all they had to do is summon one more monster. Granted, they can't stop Dark Magician Girl with the formula, and you have multiple formulas in your deck, but... The odds are that your opponent's going to get you there. Yeah, And another Ebon. Very funny. So you have three girls now. That's your idea. I like your idea. I like the idea behind it. But Magician's Valkyria is dead. There's not much you could do about it. You mean, you, if you have Dark Renewal, you could summon another one. That'd be great. But you didn't have Dark Renewal. So yeah, you're going to lose it. I can't believe... I'm honestly surprised they got three mathematicians out. One of them made sense. It was searched. The other two were natural, so that's pretty crazy. Um, you're going to lose two girls. They're either going to take away your healer or your burner. The burner might be a good idea, but the healer is also a good idea. All right, so get rid of, getting rid of the healer. Don't want your opponent to be that healthy. Makes sense. Magician's Circle. Interesting. They don't have any more mathematicians, so that means you can get out another Valkyria. Love the idea. Never mind. I am in love with that idea. Because there's a new monster, they must target that one or end their battle phase. Which means they're going to take... a. Oh, a lot of burn. Oh, they got rid of their monster in order to not take the burn. You should have played this in defense mode. That w Oh, do you have to summon in attack mode, actually? Yeah, never mind. I'm, I'm, I'm an idiot. Never mind. If you, you didn't have the choice, it's not your fault. But oh my god, this is close. So yeah, get rid of these two so you don't take massive burn. And you could destroy one Hyanzaru. That's great, but you need to kill the other one. That is great. Dark Magician Girl is being played perfectly right now. Um, but honestly, you're kind of in a bad position. Because you need a monster. Unless you can get... No, there's no nothing you can get right now. 1200 burn is really nice, though. Magician Valkyria is dead, though, due to the second Hyanzaru. But in order to do that, they will... No? It's worth it. Just put her in defense mode. It's totally worth. You attack you. You go in defense mode. And then if you have that spell card that pops this monster, you could do that, too. Lots of ways to win this. Lots of ways. The only thing you don't do is you don't activate Magicians Unite. That's like the worst option right now. There you go. You attack you. Yeah, get rid of Hyanzaru. You go into defense mode. You go into defense mode. There you go. And then you end your turn. All right, yeah. See, that's pretty good. I don't know what these three cards are. Maybe more Dark Magician Girls. Hell if I know. All I know is that this Dark Magician Girl, Rio is keeping herself healthy while burning her opponent down. Hyanzaru and another monster must be necessary, and if they go that route, then they will not win. So, they need to get the Litmus Doom Swordsman, something they've summoned all the time in other duels. Hydro Get On changes everything, never mind. Hydro Get On is literally the clutch card because this can kill all the monsters but Dark Magician Girl. Technically, Dark Magician Girl still keeps them in control of the duel, but Hydro Get On counters everything. You will die, die, die. That was the perfect counter card. Alright, special summoning Hydro Get On to get rid of Ebon Girl. And then you can get rid of Ebon Girl for another Hydro Get On. All three still in the deck? Amazing. Amazing turn from Bastion. I love it. That was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And if you have an Oxy get on, you can kill the Dark Magician Girl as well. So you are in a great position right now. You just need that. Or Ring of Destruction, but come on, what are the odds? Or Monster Born, I guess, to just defend yourself, which means you don't have any of those options I was just talking about. All right. So they need this just to make sure Dark Magician Girl does not get through over time. Or no way! No way! 
Are we going to see it in the grand finals, which could be the final duel? Will we see the water dragon? I am so hyped. Can we see it? All right. And I don't see anything so far. There it is. There it is. In the final fight, we have bonding H2O to summon Bastion's legendary water dragon, which just barely beats Dark Magician Girl. Dark Magician Girl will lose this fight unless Magicians Unite is an option. Without Magicians Unite, this duel is over. All right, let's see it. Let's see it. All right, battle phase is not a good sign. They do get rid of Hyanzaru, but unless they have a trap or a quick play spell, they're in a lot of trouble. I would recommend trap. Even, even Dark Renewal. <laughs> even Dark Renewal would be worth at this point. Not really, actually. You're in so much trouble. We're going to see it. Boss Monster versus Boss Monster. Hydro, I mean, sorry. Water Dragon versus Dark Magician Girl. The two strongest cards. I know Litmus Doom Swords is technically the strongest, but screw it. Dark Magician Girl dies. Healing yet, yet again. Lots of heals. And 2,400 damage is dealt. But at the end of the day, they're still above 10,000. So now it's all up to Dark Magician Girl to draw Dark Hole. That's their best bet. At this field, that's their best bet. They could do the, the Magical Dimension, but Dark Hole is their best bet. And I don't know how they get it, but they got to get it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, Curse Seal! You lose, sir! Unless you, have an arm, unless you have Magical Dimension, you're in trouble. Oh my god, you are in trouble. You, even if you do use Magician of Faith to bring it back, Curse Seal says you cannot use that card for the remainder of the duel. Which means this card is useless. Dark Hole is gone from the... It does not matter. Do not pick Dark Hole. Pick... Oh, God. You might... There's nothing to pick. That was not going to work. That is not going to work. I love that you still... That There was nothing better to pick, technically. Magic Formula, I don't think it would matter. But still, this damage is true. In the, thir in the second duel, the possible final duel of the tournament, Bastion doesn't rely on Litmus Doom Swordsman. Bastion goes Water Dragon, Oxy Get On, Hydro Get On, Carmenet On, all of them on the field. Every single one of the elementals from Season 1 of GX are on the field. This is amazing. I love this duel so far. This is great. And there's no way to activate Dark Hole, so good luck to you. You're gonna have to try something else. All right, setting a card usually means GG. This could very well be the end of the duel, especially if you have Dark Renewal. Kabuzalis, let's see. Nothing was activated. Water Dragon goes in. Apprentice Magician can stall. Get three Apprentice Magicians out. You've got to keep it coming. Apprentice, 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 Apprentice. you got to do them all. If you don't do this, you will die. All right, Apprentice Magician saves the day. Not even Carboneton can destroy. That was a misplay. It has 800 defense. That was a misplay. I, honestly, people don't remember those things, so it's fine. And Kabuzalis destroys it. All right. Apprentice, 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 Apprentice. Keep them coming. And then the final monster you could summon. If you get Magician of Faith, you get a formula, which is something. If you get anything else, it's just going to die. It's. I know it's not really something. It's just the best you got. Ooh, Magician of Faith is here. Oxy Get On goes in. Magic Formula will be obtained. It's sad, but that's it. Even with the Magic Formula, you can't win. The only way you can win is if you summon a monster face up, you quick play spell to destroy this monster and summon Dark Magician Girl, and then you give it the formula. That's your best chance of winning. Not guaranteed, because they could still do Doom Swordsman out of all this. But it gives you a chance. Bastion from uh, was losing pretty badly and has turned the duel completely around. And now they have a full field, all of the elementals and a dinosaur. And they are completely in control. In fact, everything here except the fusion one, sea serpent. Is, I mean, yeah, the freaking water dragon is a sea serpent, which makes sense. Oh my god. And they end their turn! A brick has been achieved in the final duel after all those crazy plays. Water dragon goes in for 28. Hydro Get On goes in for 16. 
And the final attack will be Oxy Get On. The winner of the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Season 1 tournament is Fell and Bastion. Bastion is officially the strongest duelist in the first season of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Close second to Dark Magician Girl because she put up a, a good fight. But that is it.